Magnet's media channel is generating millions of views every month, and no wonder why. Their videos consist of engaging animations that follow the story, and in this video I am going to show you how you can create one for yourself. More specifically, we are going to recreate this animation from the most recent video and turn it into our own version. We will be using Adobe After Effects for the animations part and Dali E for generating images. Most of the elements that I will be using in this video can be found in the description. When you open Adobe After Effects, you'll be greeted with the starting page. Here you can create a new composition by clicking here and here you can set width to 1920 pixel and height to 1080 pixel and make sure that the frame rate is 24 frames per second. Duration is about 9 seconds. Here I'll rename my composition to Magnets Media and then click OK. Now on the left side here in Project menu, I have imported all the assets that I'll be using throughout this video, which you can find all the links in the description of this video. So I'll import the background image. Of course, I couldn't find the same one, but I'll use this one here and I'll decrease the scale so it fits on the screen. Next, we're going to open Dali E inside ChatGPT to generate the woman images that you saw in Magnets Media video. As you can see, I put an input like this, which you can also copy and paste inside your chat GPT. And he generated this picture here. And because we need this one, but the older woman version, I put an input here that this woman is 17 years old. And he generated this picture here, which I have already imported inside Adobe After Effects. Now, because these images have backgrounds behind them, we need to remove them and you can use two different methods. You can use remove.bg, which is a free software, or you can use Adobe Photoshop, which I'll do in this case. So I'm going to select this layer here and here in select and subject, it will select the subject that we want to copy. So I'm going to press control C in order to copy this image and paste it here. And now I'm going to remove this layer here and I'll repeat the process for this one. Now I'm going to save this Photoshop file and import it in After Effects. And when you import Photoshop file, here select import kind to composition and editable layer styles and then click OK. You can double click on it and see your layers, which we'll copy and paste above our background image. Now here I'm going to select on transform and increase scale a bit more, maybe like this copy and paste these values here. So we have the almost similar pictures. Now I'm going to hide this layer here and move it, let's say three seconds in. And first I'm going to add a blur to the background image. So here I'm going to use camera lens blur, which I'll apply on the background image. And let's increase blur radius to 10 or maybe less, let's say seven. Now I'm going to select these two layers and here in parent and link connect them to the background image. And first let's add a zoom in effect on this background image. So let's say one and a half second in, I'm going to increase the scale a bit and select these keyframes and press F9 on the keyboard in order to turn them into easy ease keyframes. And so far you'll have this animation. I'm going to select this transform option and here open the graph editor and here select edit speed graph. And when you select, so let's say this anchor point here, it will give you these hands, which you can use to adjust the angle of the speed graph. So I'm going to hold shift on my keyboard and bring this closer and also this one here. And this will create this animation. Now at the two second mark, I'm going to bring this layer here, select this toggle vision here and we are going to animate the opacity transform option and here in effects and presets type CC burn and drag it on this layer here and we are going to select the stopwatch logo here and right click on your mouse and reveal in timeline in order to manipulate the keyframes in the timeline and here for example I'm going to add another keyframe as well as opacity keyframe. Now let's go back to the starting point and here I will decrease opacity to 0% and burn to 100. Now this will create this animation that you'll see right now. And we can select these keyframes and press F9 on the keyboard. Now we need to also time the disappearing of the layer below. So here I'll select opacity and 
here I'll create an R keyframe and let's go back and decrease to 0% and also turn them into easy ease. So for now, you'll see this animation. So now after we did this opacity transition, I'm going to bring this ink transition video that I downloaded from Envato Elements, which you can also find link in the description. So I'm going to time it so it starts at this point here. Now, as you can see, we can't see anything. So what you need to do is right click on your mouse and pre-compose this layer and rename it to, let's say transition and click OK. Now double click on that composition and here I'm going to go to effects and presets and select color key, which I'll drag on this layer. And here in key color, take this eyedropper tool and select this black color. Now, as you can see, nothing is visible yet. So I'm going to create a rectangle so you can see below it. And here let's play with the color tolerance. So we remove these black edges and maybe a little bit of edge thin like this. And so far this looks okay. Now I'm going to move this rectangle above and select this transparency layer. And this will color our ink to the orange. And so far this will work out. Then we can go back to this main composition. And here in transform, I'll select saturation. And here in blending mode, I'll play with the settings in order to achieve the similar look that you saw in Magnet's media video. So I set the opacity to 46% and mode to hard light. And here in transition, I'll set this shape layer to multiply and you'll get this sort of transition, which you'll see right now. Now here in the background layer, I will create a scale keyframe. And while this transition is happening, we want to decrease scale. So I'm going to go back to the transition composition and here I'll slow down this ink transition. So here you can select this video and right click on your mouse and here in time, select enable time ramping. And let's say that we are fine with this point here, which I'll create a keyframe. And then I'm going to move it like this here and delete this one here. And what will this do is slow down the ink transition. Now, as you could have probably seen, there is some color distortion present on this animation. So I'm going to show you how you can do that. So create a new adjustment layer and place it above these layers. And here in effects and presets, I'll type quick chromatic aberration three, which is a free plugin, which I'll leave a link in the description if you want to check it out. So I'm going to apply it on this adjustment layer here. And here I'm going to increase the position at 3.5 and Q shift, you can play with that also, but we don't need it at the middle. so. I'm going to create a new mask on this adjustment layer and I'm going to remove this mask here and create a ellipse tool, which will be this circle, which I'll position in the center like this. And here select invert the checkbox. And now you can select this arrow in mask and increase expansion and feather as much as you need. I'm going to also increase it a bit even more position, for example, 9.5. And above this adjustment layer, I'll create another one. And here in effect and presets type CC lens and apply it on this adjustment layer. And here I'm going to increase the size to let's say 240. And so far, this is enough. Now let's create those photo transition that you saw previously in Magnet's media animation. So I'm again going to open Dali E in ChatGPT and generate three similar family photos, which I'll show you right now. So here I said, I need a family picture of father, mother, and a baby daughter from 1900s. And this is what it generated. And then I said, I need a baby that is three years old and then five years old. And when you do that, you can copy these pictures 
and import them in After Effects. Now place these three layers below these adjustment layers and we can, for example, decrease their scale size a bit like this maybe. And here I'm going to toggle the vision of these two adjustment layers for now because we need to create a border for these pictures. So first I'm going to select this picture here and move it, for example, here and here select rectangle tool and create a box so it is bigger than the size of the picture and turn it to white and here place it below that layer. And then I'm going to select these two layers and pre-compose them. So let's rename it to first picture and click OK. And I'll repeat the process for the rest of these pictures. Now, when you finish these border images for our pictures, you can apply effects and presets for a quick chromatic aberration and apply it on these compositions here. And again, play with the position. So here in quick chromatic aberration, I set it to 150 degrees for hue shift, red and green, and position is two. And I'll copy this effect and paste it on the rest of these two pictures. Now let's animate the peel transition or page turn transition, which you saw for these pictures. So first let's animate the bottom one, which is our third picture. So I'll place it, for example, here and maybe even increase the scale like this. And here in effects and presets type page turn and apply it on your composition. So here we are going to create a fold position keyframe here and reveal it in timeline. And for example, at this point here, we will end our animation. And let's say that here is the start. So set uh, controls to bottom right corner and the beginning fold position we will move our anchor point far out of our frame for example here and I'll select these keyframes and press F9 on the keyboard in order to turn them into easy ease and this will create this animation now I'm going to connect all these three pictures to our background so when we add scale effect it also applies to our picture. So now I'm going to animate the page turn for the rest of these pictures. So apply it on this second picture here and reveal full position timeline and time it so they don't start at the same time. Rather, they have a gap between them. For example, here we are going to start, start a second picture and end it here. So I'm going to find this anchor point indicator and let's set it to top right corner, for example. And let's go back to the first fold position keyframe and move our picture out of the frame like this. And again, select these keyframes and press F9 on the keyboard in order to turn them into easy ease. And so far we animated these two pictures. And let's say at this point here, we're going to animate also our third picture. So again, bring page turn to this composition here. And for this, let's change controls to bottom left corner and add full position and end it here. So this one we will animate. So it comes from the right side. And again, press F9 in order to turn them into easy ease. And after this, we are going to animate the countdown number animation. And also make sure that the back opacity is set to 100% on all of these pictures. So you don't have that transparency below your fold. And finally, let's animate the countdown. So here I'm going to create a text box. And here in font, I found Erstoria, which I found that is similar to the one in Magnates Media. And also you can find the link in the description. So I'm going to bring it at the top text layer. So here in effects and presets type number and drag it on your text layer. And here set alignment to center and horizontal. And here again, find Astoria and click OK. And here I'm going to increase the size so you can see what I'm doing here. So in decimal places, decrease it to zero and value set first at 1920 and change the fill color to orange and 
value offset we will create a keyframe and reveal it in timeline and at the eight second i'm going to create another keyframe and set it to 1926 now now at this point here i'm going to also animate the position effect so reveal it in timeline and create a keyframe and i'm going to go back and move it out of the frame for example this point here and also turn them into easy ease and now you probably saw that in magnets media video you have a certain shade which we will also create so here type cc vignette and drag it on your layer and play with the amount and angle of view but don't overdo it and also move the center at the top like this maybe decrease the amount a bit like this and also add a glow decrease glow radius to zero and increase glow intensity to let's say 0.2 and pretty much that's it you can also add drop shadow in order to add that contrast so the font is a bit more visible like this and that's pretty much it now you have a magnets media animation created inside adobe after effect in combination with dali e which we use to generate photos if you found this video useful make sure that you leave a like and subscribe and until the next time bye